Pitt's first film critics. I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure of talking with Thea Sherrick, the director of Disney Plus's highly awaited upcoming film, The One and Only Ivan. Just two films deep into her feature film career, Thea is one of the Hollywood scene's most prominent directors. And she's also a well-known figure in British theater, with the title of youngest artistic director in British theater to her name. It's a pleasure. So I have to ask, what motivated you to direct The One and Only Ivan? Um, I read the book originally with my kids. Um, they were nine and ten at the time, and they absolutely loved the movie, uh, the book, sorry. And um, I just felt that this was going to potentially make a really fabulous, heartwarming, inspirational, um, charming educational movie, all of which came under the perfect um, house of the mouse. <laughs> Definitely. So this is your first Disney film and Disney's first live action slash animated hybrid film. Are there things that the, you know, about the Disney brand that influenced your directing and your creative process for this film? Um, very much so. I would say that there huge experience in this world of animating animals was an enormous help to me. So by the time we got into shooting, they had already made The Jungle Book, obviously. They'd pr nearly finished uh, on Lion King. Um, so I felt like I was in the best hands possible. Um, and I think the other thing is that I always wanted to try and make sure that we managed to, to get the tone of a Disney movie absolutely right, so that it's accessible to everybody within the family, which is a really important message from uh, for Disney. Definitely, yeah. I mean, you had uh, you know a lot to live up to, and I feel like you did live up to it. What do you think? Uh, well, I hope so. I mean, we haven't... The, the studio are thrilled, and... Um, Catherine Applegate is thrilled, which obviously means a lot to me. Um, but we await what the what the public have to say when it finally comes out on Disney Plus on August 21st. Absolutely. So if you could sum up the production process for the one and only Ivan, how would you kind of encapsulate the entire experience? Um, it was a pretty long and complicated <laughs> process. Uh, it had elements of uh, exactly what you would imagine. So in a way, it was like shooting two movies at the same time. So we shot all the live action scenes with humans um, in a fairly conventional way. But we also had this other element of all the virtual animals scenes, um, which went down a very different process. So it would start with making sure that we had voice performances from all of the actors. Then you give those voice performances to the animators. They then create scenes. And then together, I start to direct, if you like, those animated scenes. Um, and then ultimately, we bring them together and we try to create a world that is completely seamless. So you never know which shots are virtual and which shots were shot for real. You know, I can uh, definitely, was, I can attest challenge. to that actually, because, uh, you know, for like a good, I think probably more than half the movie, I was like, is the gorilla real? Are they all real? <laughs> it actually, it like bends your perspective kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, I, I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> so, so what was your favorite part of making this film? Um, Gosh, you know, I mean, the thing that I love most in my job is is collaborating with others. So whether that was with Mike White on the script, uh, working closely with all the actors, uh, which is probably always the bit that I love m the most. But also on this one, I really loved finding out more about the technical aspect of, of animation and how all of that works. And it was genuinely fascinating. So um, overall, it's it's been a really a very, very special um a special process. Of course, yeah. And I mean, it's pretty groundbreaking, you know, to be, you know, Disney's first 
live action and animated hybrid film. That's an amazing, you know, achievement to have to your name. Yeah, so, I'm, 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 you know, I'm delighted that they gave me the opportunity. <laughs> of course. So from what I understand, you spent uh, some part of your childhood in Kenya. So how did being so close to the wildlife in the African savanna, how did that affect the creation of this film? It meant that I was incredibly picky when it came to um, finalizing all the shots within uh, Ivan's memories of being back in Africa and Stella's memories of being back in Africa. Um, I was particularly pedantic with the details of how that looked and felt. Um, and I guess probably fundamentally, it meant that I just wanted to serve the animals as well as we possibly could and to make them as real as I remember what it was like being um, on safari in, in Africa when I was a kid. Definitely, yeah. So what message do you hope that viewers will take away from watching The One and Only Ivan? Well, I hope that particularly in this time, um, viewers can take away a sense of hope and of courage and that friendship is possibly the most important thing we all have um, and that kindness can go a long way and a small act of kindness can go a very long way and sometimes it's the difference between um, making somebody feel really happy and good about themselves um, and I think in this in this moment when we only really have each other to lean on um, I would hope that that level of message comes through even more so and resonates with the viewers of the film. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Thea. It's been a pleasure. You too. Thank you so much. I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First. The one and only Ivan, directed by Thea Sherrick, releases on Disney Plus on August 21st. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or those of my amazing Kids First teammates. Bye, and thank you so much again.